Introducing to you first, the challenger, fighting out of Katy, Texas, by way of Kumasi, Ghana. Here is Kasimu King Cash Yakubo. And here we have, making his way. Kubu, currently residing out of Missouri City. Six foot, 34 years of age. The record of two and two here tonight. This will be his third fight of 2022. There we have him, Kasimu Yakuba. He is ready for action. And now his opponent, ready to make his way into the arena. Here is the reigning defending ABO champion, Sean the Amazing Nicole. And now, ladies and gentlemen, fight fans here for the Lone Star Convention Center. This is our Anglia Holmes Fight Series opening title attraction of the evening. Six rounds for the APO Regional Super Middleweight Championship. Presented to you by A Degre Promotions and sponsored by Stalwart Ranch Progressive Rejuvenation, Dakaria Zarandas, Carlitos Barbershop, Boxing TV and Loaded Pistols Fightwear. This contest is sanctioned to you by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation for Combative Sports. Also sanctioned by the American Boxing Organization. The ABO President and Supervisor here with us tonight, Alicio Castaneda. The three judges scoring this contest at ringside are Dr. Kelly Isaac, Perry Hillen and Greg Zaragoza, and a referee, championship referee in charge, at the sound of the bell, James Green. And now, fight fans, here we go. Six rounds of action for our title attraction. Introducing to you first tonight, fighting out of the blue corner, standing with Dwight Pratchett, assisted by Neil Davis, wearing black with white, he officially weighed in 166 pounds. In four professional bouts, his record consists of two victories, one win coming to by way of knockout, two defeats fighting out of Katy, Texas by way of Kumasi, Ghana. Here is Kasimu King Cash Yakubo. And across the range stands here, so Poland, fighting out of the red corner, standing with trainer Rolando Lopez, assisted by Kasim Azir, wearing black velvet trunks. He officially weighed in 165 pounds. Tonight enters his contest, perfect. 11 bouts, 11 victories, six wins coming to you by way of knockout, no defeats. Introducing to you, 
the ABF American West Super Middleweight Champion. Fighting out to the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado, here is the undefeated reigning, defending ABO Super Middleweight Champion, Sean the Amazing Mikoma! All right, referee James Green with the final instructions for these two super middleweights. Super middleweight championship. I want you to protect yourself at all times. At all times, I want you to get like that. Touch gloves. Back to you, corners. Sean McCallman. Kasimu Yakubu. And this fight is officially underway. McCallman in the southpaw stance. Both fighters wearing the black trunks. Yakubu with the white trim. McCallman, McCallman opening up with a short right hook. Feeling out process in these opening 30 seconds of this super middleweight matchup. McCallman defending ABO middleweight, super middleweight champ. Transitions to orthodox stance right now. Working the body with that straight left to the body. See if he can get Yakubu to drop them hands and maybe deliver an overhand right. McCallman, 11 straight victories, six of them by KO. Going into this fight with a lot of momentum. The undefeated fighter from Colorado. Coming into this fight nice and relaxed. Getting out of dodge of Yakubu's attack there. This fight is scheduled for six rounds in the Anglia Holmes fight series. We're here live in Conroe, Texas. The Lone Star Convention Center. I'm Todd Moore calling the action here on clearlifemedia.com. We thank everyone that's joining us here tonight. Good head movement there by McCallman, able to uh, evade the punches from Yakubu. Yakubu coming into this fight with two victories under his belt. His last fight was a split decision victory over Fidel Duevas back in September. be his third fight of the year, staying very active, so he's coming into this fight in good shape. McCallman, that head really low. Both fighters standing at six foot tall. Yakubu at 34 years of age against the 28 year old Sean McCallman. No big shots landed thus far in this opening round here in this super middleweight matchup for the ABO championship. We've got 11 fights scheduled here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So spread the word to your friends. Get a piece of the action on clearlifemedia.com. Good one, too, to finish off the round by Yakubu. Round one in the books. Interesting to see McCallman opening up the match in the southpaw stance. There we see him dancing in the middle of the round. I mean, excuse me, the uh, in between the rest rounds, showing that he's nice and relaxed. We see Yakubu getting some instructions from his corner here tonight. I want to thank everyone that's joining us from wherever you're watching. I am Todd Moore, calling the action for clearlifemedia.com. Flying solo here tonight. tonight we are live in Conroe, Texas. We are in Conroe, Texas at the Lone Star Convention Center on a rainy Saturday night. Nothing like the Saturday night at the fights.
Here he goes. Referee James Green in control of this matchup. Round two underway. Curious to see if McCallman's going to opt to transition back to Southpaw stance. Work that a little bit. Maybe trying to work some tools for, get some experience from that stance for more weapons he can add to his arsenal for future fights. Quick transition right before they get into the body clinch there to Southpaw from McCallman. Ambidextrous fighter, McCullman. Getting some reps now from that left-handed stance. Oh, big left hand right there from McCullman. Good counter punch from the champion. Typically when you get two opposite stance fighters, you see a lot of the stepping of the feet. Both fighters trying to fight for control of positioning. Good head movement there from McCallman. Landed some good body shots and got himself out of range and then took control of the center of the ring. Able to evade danger is the ABO champion. Curious which of McCallman's hands is his more dominant one, considering he's an ambidextrous fighter. Just under 45 seconds left in this second round of this ABO championship fight. Six knockouts to the credit of McCallman, so he has the power to end this one early if needed be. McCallman, it's been pro since 2018. First round knockout over Jake Featherman. All the way up to his previous opponent, Marquise Moore. Just under 10 seconds left. Round two in the books. Loosely scoring this matchup. Have to see it's an easy fight to score thus far. This far had given McCallman the first two rounds over Yakubu. You have to wonder what adjustments Yakubu's corner is telling him to make. He plans to walk away with his third victory here tonight. The older fighter at 34 years of age and less experience, Sean McCallman making his 12th pro appearance here tonight. I want to thank everyone that's joining us here tonight on clearlifemedia.com. Spread the word to your friends. Check them out. We still got 10 more fights after tonight's, or after this matchup. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, to share the link to clearlifemedia.com to purchase this pay-per-view event. If they want to see some great knockout action, some great boxing action here in Conroe, Texas, share the wealth with your friends. Share with them the link to clearlifemedia.com as we currently have the amazing Sean McCallman taking on King Cash, Kasimu Yakubu for the ABO Super Middleweight Championship. Far McCallman's been in control of this matchup with his evasive defense. 
And precision shots. More experience of the two fighters. The younger and more experienced McCallman. Inside work now between these two fighters. Getting that head underneath there. Burning up unnecessary energy. Now we're already into round three and Coleman doesn't even look like he's broken a sweat yet. He's been very relaxed, dancing in between rounds, communicating with the referee. Very confident young fighter here. Yakubu now trying to open up on the inside. Referee James Green splits them apart. Well, McCallman still against the ropes. Finally able to get himself back into the center of the ring. Ripping it to the body. McCallman now. Trying to snap that jab back in there. Wow, double leg attempt there from Yakubu. I like that. Same mixed martial arts. Nonetheless, McCallman got a good laugh out of that as well. Got a little bit overextended in that punch, but Yakubu got right under him. Showing that he's here to fight. He's not going to be pushed around. The 34 year old fighter born in Kumasi, Ghana, currently residing out of. Katy, Texas. King Cash is what they call him. Just under 10 seconds left. I don't know if the timekeeper called that one a little early. Right when round three was ending with a little bit of a flurry there. Round four coming up, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank everyone at home watching from clearlifemedia.com. Don't forget to encourage your friends, share with them the link to Clear Life Media. Ask them to purchase this pay-per-view event to catch 10 more fights here tonight. This is round four. This is round four, but I believe should be a scheduled six-round title matchup, our only six-round fight of the evening. With that said, you have to wonder what Yakubu's cornerman, probably encouraging him to pick up the pace and pick up right where he left off in round three. And with a little bit of flurry, I think Yakubu will find it most of his success there just to be a little bit more of the aggressor. McCallman has been sharpshooting most of the night, staying really relaxed, making Yakubu bring the fight to him as the champion. Yakubu trying to back McCallman in the corner. McCallman. Too slick, got himself back to the center of the gate, into the ring, excuse me. Look at that quick left hook. Yakubu just out of dodge of that counter attack from the champion, McCallman. Well, these fighters just short of connecting those big shots. Coleman now measuring. Opting to fight Orthodox in this round. Fought quite a bit of round three in the Southpaw stance. Clinch now. Coleman lands some good short choppy shots there to the body of Yakubu. Kalman goes low, then goes high. 
And right there, I believe they're gonna rule that one a slip, or actually a, a push down. So no extra points scored there from McCallman. Coleman in control of this fight. Right now, Yakubu trying to mow down the champion. But McCallman proving to be too slick. 28 year old fighter born out of Denver, Colorado. Defending his title here tonight. Coming off the biggest victory of his career, defeating the 10 0. Marquis Moore, that fight was back in March of 2022. This year, took a couple months off and now is back at it. Right. Round four in the books. Two more rounds to go in this championship fight. I am Todd Moore calling the action here for you on clearlifemedia.com. Championship rounds of this ABO Super Middleweight Championship. Frustrating position to be in if you're in the corner of Kasimu Yakuba, Yakubu, excuse me. Seems like when he tries to get aggressive, Coleman. Just has a lot of poise, is able to shake off and slip out of bad spots. But at this point, gotta wonder his corner instructed him to go for broke. Gotta make something big happen as the champion, Sean McCallman, in full control of this fight. Kalman in the red corner, Yakubu in the blue. And this time, McCallman opts to start this round in Southpaw. Interesting how McCallman has been switching from round to round from Southpaw to conventional stance. You don't see too many fighters doing that these days. Oh, big left hand there from McCallman. That got Yakubu's attention. And Yakubu now picking up the pressure now. Can he make something happen? But the counterattack to McCallman have been proven effective here. Inside work from these two fighters. Now the fight's breaking out, ladies and gentlemen. McCallman now with Yakubu against the ropes. Pressing the action now. Good defense from McCallman. You hear Yakubu's Corner instructed him, let them hands go. Referee James Green giving a warning to Yakubu for a shot there to the back of the head. McCallman there trying to roll those punches off, slipping them. Good defense, very well schooled fighters. This McCallman can fight from both stances effectively. Good defense. This man has a bright future. This is where you'll see young up and coming fighters. Oh, off the ropes there. Almost like an Irish rip in professional wrestling. Yakubu bouncing off the ropes, working his attacks. Yakubu's a tough fighter, man. He's taking some shots so far. He just keeps moving forward. Yakubu going into this fight, the underdog. I think he didn't get the memo because he's fighting this fight. Like he's trying to win it. This man's a warrior. I love the relaxation of McCallman. They call him the amazing for a reason. He's showing here tonight that he's a master of his craft. Here live in Conroe, Texas on a rainy night. Great night for some fights here. 
Oh, big hooks there from McCallman. I don't know if it's just me, but this round seems like it was going long. There's the 10 second clap from the timekeeper. See if they can end something big on the fourth. Excuse me, is this the fifth round? Yep, that was the fifth round. Almost lost track there. Sixth and final round coming up. I'm expecting Yakubu to come out guns a blazing against the champion. See if he can make something big happen. And why not? We've came this far. Can the amazing Sean McCallman remain undefeated in pursuit of his 12th victory here tonight where we see an upset from the 34-year-old Kasimu Yakubu. Sixth and final round here in this ABO Super Middleweight Championship. Let's see who wants it more. I love the toughness of Yakubu, but just the skills and ability of McCallman just thus far has proven to be too much. This time, opting to fight out of the conventional stance. Very well-schooled fighter. Looking forward to seeing many more fights from McCallman. Seeing how his opponents can adapt to his unorthodox attack. Coleman now trying to roll with those punches. Clinched right now. Nice little uppercut there from McCallman as Yakubu continues to move forward. Making it ugly. Oh my. Coleman snapping those punches. Now they're opening up. It's the sixth round, ladies and gentlemen. The championship round. They are finishing strong. Yakubu with a solid right. And McCallman just plows through. Small butt of heads right there. Referee James Green going to take a look. See if there's a cut from that clash of heads. Calling in the doctor, old school Dr. Guerrero. Man, this man right here has been part of the fight game here in Houston, Texas for well over 20 years. Back whenever I was a pro back in 05, this man was the referee, I mean, excuse me, the, the fight doctor way back then, and he was already many years into the business at that point. Doctor clears it to go on ahead. We are close to halfway being done in this sixth and final round, of this championship fight. And that breaking action gave the fighters just a little bit of a breather. And there we see that cut over the left eye of McCallman was caused from the clash of heads. And luckily for McCallman, it's not bleeding into his eye, at least not yet. If this was a 10 or 12 round fight that could have been proven to be difficult to deal with. Yakubu throwing a combination. Calm in there. Doing a good job in getting out of dodge. Trying to maintain ring control here. Just under 10 seconds left in this championship fight. They are finishing strong here. And the amazing Sean McCallman and King Cash 
Kasimu Yakubu go the distance in our opening matchup here tonight in the Anglia Home Fight Series. El Tigre Promotions. Great effort from Yakubu. I think this is an easy fight to score. Give this to the champion, Sean McCallman. I believe that McCallman will have successfully defended his ABO Super Middleweight Championship here tonight. I am Todd Moore. Call the action here for you on clearlifemedia.com. We got 10 more fights, ladies and gentlemen, so let your friends and family know they want to catch some great action. Go to Clear Life Media. Click on our pay-per-view link. Nowhere else you're going to see this action, but right here on Clear Life Media. Got the son of former Olympian Raul Marquez fighting here tonight later. Giovanni Marquez, he looks to remain undefeated. And let's hand it over to Jeremiah for the official decision. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here for the Lone Star Convention Center. How about a huge round of applause from both of these warriors here in the ring, putting it all on the line here tonight. And now we go to the judges' scorecards. Here are the totals. Judge Dr. Kelly Isaac has his contest 59 to 55. Same score for Judge Perry Hillen. And Judge Ray Zaragoza scores his contest 60 to 54, declaring your winner by unanimous decision. And still undefeated, your reigning ABO Super Middleweight ABO Champion, Sean the Amazing. Sean McCallman improves to 12 and 0. The victory here tonight over Kasimu Yakubu. I'm sure we'll be seeing plenty more of Sean McCallman in future El Tigre fight promotions. Possible world championship ahead in this young man's future.